All right, good morning, guys. So this might be a little emotional. I'll try not to get emotional because I, I really try not to be that way. Um, I was taught not to be emotional growing up, okay? I was taught you don't have time for your feelings all the time. So one of those areas uh, is abortion. So I just read a comment on uh, Lila Rose's uh, comment section live action and someone had said something like imagine how Brittany must have felt feeling the baby die inside her and I just thought go back and think about how that felt Melissa you know uh that has that I was very appreciative of that comment because that's something that women don't have time to feel Okay, we're made to feel, right? We are, you don't let your emotions run you, but there is a feeling that we have that is different than men. So when you're having an abortion, you need to block that out. You need to not think. The whole abortion, the whole abortion situation, the whole pregnancy center, pregnancy situation thing is no feelings. It's just a crisis that someone has created usually for you. Uh, <clears throat> in my case, it was created for me. It wasn't even my decision on how I wanted to even think about pregnancy. It wasn't even you're a mother. It was, don't tell me you're pregnant, right? So as I stood there, frozen, like a deer in headlights, with my mother saying this to me in the kitchen, and I'm trying to digest don't tell me, so don't tell her, don't tell her, okay, I won't tell you that I'm pregnant. I am pregnant. I'm pregnant. So that was news to me because she had just said in the bathroom, when was the last time you had your period? And I had no idea. I had not thought about this. I was busy my sophomore year of high school having fun with my friends, as most girls should have fun with their friends and be able to have a childhood. Um, so that was, that was just like information thrown at me that I really had a hard time even processing that at first. And so then, like I said on one of the comments, Brittany's getting a lot of backlash, okay, for coming out and saying this. Whether it's true or not that you know, she would have chose if it was her decision alone. She is talking about this and that's where it's at. Okay. It's at talking about this because women are not allowed to talk about this. You're not allowed to feel, you're not allowed to have feelings for your baby in the abortion arena. You're not allowed to grieve afterwards. You're not allowed to talk about this in society. You're not allowed to really even be like uh, yourself with this. I mean, even you're going to get knocked down. When I was <clears throat> when I was pregnant, okay, so I got knocked down quite a bit. And after a while, you get knocked down so much, you are what's the word you are compromising or giving in or you're you're beating down so month so much that you don't really have a choice emotionally um so right after as i'm trying to process this my mother ran to my dad and told on me uh i think from the kitchen to the living room very small home he was sitting in a chair gave me a dirty look um, there might've been a day that there might've been, no, I think he was giving me a dirt. Yeah. He was giving me a dirty look and shaming me, sent me to my room. I think it was the next morning I was taken to the doctor's office, had a urine sample. I wasn't told I was pregnant. My mother was told from there, there was no conversation. Um, I really didn't know what was going on. I was seriously busy with my friends. And I I don't even, a lot was hidden, okay? So, um, so for me to have to go 
you know, to the doctors. And then I, I think that day I was dragged over to my boyfriend's house and my ex-boyfriend. Okay. I hadn't even been, I had cut it off once he got me pregnant. I felt like he tricked me. I was trying to break up with him. He said the condom was okay. It wasn't, it broke. And I did not even think I was seriously pregnant. I was, I just felt so tricked by him that I wanted to go home. So I had my mind made up, no question about it, that I did not want to be with him. We were done, no question about it. And <clears throat> I wasn't really looking for a discussion with him, but my mother was there trying to, I guess, manipulate the situation. I wasn't even really listening to her. I was so mad. Um, and mad that she brought me there too, against my will. I didn't want to go back to him. The guy was being a jerk and I did not want to go back and talk to him. So, um, so from there I'm trying to, oh yeah. So Brittany was saying, you know, if it was up to her alone, it wouldn't have happened. And same with me. It wouldn't have happened. No way it would have happened. So what I was doing was protecting myself, not talking to my mother or to Randy really just didn't want to be with him. And then I was going to be able to handle this on my own is what I was thinking to be able to figure out what I was feeling basically, but I got knocked down again. And that was with my mother and my father calling his parents and the the adults making a decision for me. So I didn't ever really, my mother said, do you want me to help you raise the kid or what? And I knew I did not want her help after in the relationship, all the intri intricacies of that relationship and kind of being, I knew I did not want her help because she broke my trust already. But there were other things said. There was something in the background about my Aunt Kim having an abortion. The word for the first time abortion was introduced kind of in the background that way. There were there was like a conversation that was like downstairs near the... My father would uh, reload his bullets. So there was like this little room where he would reload bullets. And I was in my mother's room... <clears throat> with her folding clothes or something. And Kim was there, something about an abortion in the background. They weren't really talking to me. I just happened to hear the word and not even knowing what it was. Um, the conversation ended. Uh, <clears throat> I think it was the next day I was brought to the doctors. So part two, hold on. <clears throat> 